Hi all, I am Dr. Vinjay Kumar, Senior Consultant in the Department of Anesthesia, working at Manipal Hospitals, Whitefield, Bangalore. PAC or pre-anesthetic checkup is nothing but pre-anesthetic evaluation of the patient by an anesthetist before the surgery. Ideally, for all uh, elective surgical patients, pre-anesthetic evaluation has to be done at least one day prior to the surgery. When the patient comes to us for, to the anesthetist for uh, pre-anesthetic evaluation, we go through their files, we go through their investigations and we ask any if, re, if we feel we require any further investigation, we ask them to get it done and we ask them about their pre-existing medical conditions, previous surgical history and uh, what type of anesthesia, if they have undergone any surgeries in the past, what type of anesthesia they took, any untoward events during the previous events so that we can be better prepared this time. And about the pre-existing medical conditions, it could be diabetes, hypertension, thyroid, anemia, so on. So depending upon the pre-existing conditions, we involve the respective uh, consultants from the other uh, medical specialities to optimize the patient so the patient tolerates the surgery and anesthesia better and also to minimize the risk of anesthesia and uh, surgery. And uh, we also discuss about the type of anesthesia to be given depending upon the pre-existing medical conditions and also depending upon the surgery that is scheduled. Main goal of PAC or pre-anesthetic checkup to ensure that patient safety both intra-op and uh, in the post-operative period and also to ensure the better surgical outcomes. So it's very important for all the patients who are scheduled for surgeries to undergo a proper thorough pre-operative evaluation by an anesthetic for better outcomes. I'm Dr. Shivananda, consultant in anesthesiology at Manipal Hospital, Whitefield. World Anesthesia Day is celebrated on October 16th every year all over the world. This happens to be a landmark event in the field of medicine because on this day in the year 1846, WTG Martin, a dentist by profession, successfully demonstrated general anesthesia on a patient with a neck tumor. This breakthrough event made surgery possible without a patient suffering from pain. Over the past many years, the field of anesthesiology has seen tremendous progress with advanced techniques involving uh, ultrasound and uh, newer medicines which has made uh, surgery and anesthesia both safe for the patient and this has helped keeping uh, good health and uh, prolonging the life of the human beings. Okay, myself Dr. Patel, I am the consultant in the Department of Anesthesia and Cardiac Anesthesia here in uh, Manipal Hospital, Whitefield. On this occasion of World Anesthesia Day, I would like to speak about two important subspecialties in anesthesia. We have a cardiac program and transplant program. We do a lot of cardiac surgeries and we do transplant surgeries as well. Coming to the cardiac anesthesia and cardiac surgeries, we do CABG, that is a coronary artery bypass grafting, off pump and on pump surgeries and we do a lot of valvular surgeries and complex cardiac surgeries as well. Coming to our transplant program, we do a lot of renal transplants, liver transplants and cardiac transplants. So we get patients from all over India. So we have got our anesthetist in each department. We have got cardiac anesthetist, I myself being a cardiac anesthetist, we get involved in the cardiac surgeries and we have got our own transplant anesthetist as well. So we do take care, as I explained to you in the cardiac anesthesia and surgery, we do take care and our main goal is an uneventful anesthesia during the surgery and as well and post-operative care as well. We are coming up in a big way in cardiac anesthesia and surgery and transplant surgeries as well. Hi, I am Dr. Monica, Consultant Anesthesia, Manipal Hospital, Whitefield. I wish you all a very happy World Anesthesia Day to all my colleagues out there. When it comes about administering anesthesia, it can be challenging to the extreme of age patients. Those range from pediatric age group, newborn of low birth weight, less gestational age, born before 37 weeks of pregnancy, to geriatric who are more than 69 years of age. First thing to know about pediatric patients is, is that they are not miniature adults. They can be different from adults in view of their anatomy, pharmacology, physiology and psychology. The patients of pediatric age group usually have concern regarding their well-being and if any complication can happen due to administration of anesthesia. So, as anesthesiologists, we are responsible to allay the anxiety and explain them that anesthesia is always administered based on their age, weight and blood volume. Another extreme is geriatric population, which are the elderly patients more than 69 years of age. They are challenging to handle as 
they carry multiple comorbid conditions. Knowing the medications is important as it can affect the anesthesia management as well as perioperative outcome. We need to explain the risk involved, take adequate consent, explain the need of high dependency unit or critical care unit as and when required. Hi, I am Dr. Bharti Hostur, Consultant Anesthesia, Manipal Hospital, Whitefield. Happy World Anesthesia Day to all. Regional anesthesia is an alternative to general anesthesia. Regional anesthesia comprises of spinal anesthesia and epidural anesthesia. Spinal anesthesia is where the local anesthetic is injected into the subarachnoid space and lower half of the body is rendered numb. Epidural anesthesia is similar to spinal anesthesia and with a catheter inserted into the epidural space can be used as a mode of pain management also. In regional anesthesia, the patient is awake and can interact with the surgeon if needed. Peripheral nerve blocks are local anesthetics injected into the nerve plexus directly and with the introduction of ultrasound in the field of anesthesia it has revolutionized the way in which the nerve blocks are given wherein it is very accurate and it is done under vision and there is least chances for complications. Hi, I am Dr. Anjali from Manipal Hospital Whitefield. Here is wishing everybody a happy world anesthesiology day. In Manipal we do a lot of neuro cases which include elective as well as uh, emergency cases involving the brain and the spinal cord. We give anesthesia to cases like uh, for craniotomies, aneurysm, scoliosis correction and we do away craniotomies as well. We are also a part of the Code Blue team and we help in securing the airway. Hello, I am Dr. Kishan, Consultant Anesthetist at Manipal Hospital Whitefield. I wish everyone a uh, happy World Anesthesia Day. Talking about uh, the post-operative analysia, anesthetists have a major role to play. So, role of anesthetist will not end in the operation theatre but continues for the patient with the next couple or more than that. So, many of the patients who are coming for major surgeries, they have a fear that what will be the pain after the surgery. So, as anesthetist with the current modality of drugs, uh, latest advancement in equipment, techniques, we can give a very good post-operative analysis. We can give a lot of regional technique, patient-controlled analysis. Patient-controlled analysis is where the patient controls the medication according to their uh, tolerance of the pain. So with good post-operative analysis, uh, patient can ambulate uh, faster, they can uh, do the physiotherapy at the earliest. So overall cost for the patient comes down drastically. Then when it comes to labor, we can give a labor epidural for uh, the normal deliveries. So with the labor epidural, uh, the mother can have a pain-free delivery, which is a heavenly experience for the mother and the whole family itself.